The Sami people. A culture as old as the Arctic winds, yet shrouded in mystery. For centuries, they have roamed the frozen landscapes of northern Scandinavia, herding reindeer, fishing the icy rivers, and preserving traditions that predate modern nations. But one question has baffled historians and scientists alike. Where did they come from? For decades, researchers assumed the Sami were simply descendants of the first hunter-gatherers who arrived in Scandinavia after the Ice Age. Isolated from the rest of the world, their culture and genetics seem to be a time capsule from prehistoric Europe. But new genetic research has turned that theory upside down. As scientists analyzed Sami DNA, they found something shocking, evidence that their ancestors didn't just come from Europe. In fact, the genetic story stretches thousands of miles into Siberia and beyond. This discovery challenges everything we thought we knew about the settlement of Northern Europe. It reveals a hidden history of migration, adaptation, and survival in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. Even more fascinating, the Sami language, belonging to the Uralic family, has direct links to languages spoken over 3,000 kilometers away in Siberia. How did these connections happen? And what does this mean for our understanding of ancient human migrations? Today, the Sami are recognized as the only indigenous people of the European Union, but their journey to the Arctic was far more complex than anyone expected. Their ancestors crossed continents, mixed with multiple groups, and developed unique genetic adaptations to survive the brutal Arctic climate. So, what exactly did scientists discover? How did these distant Siberian connections shape the Sami people we know today? And what does this mean for the broader history of Europe? Stick with us as we break down the surprising genetic origins of the Sami people A story hidden in their DNA for thousands of years, only now coming to light. To understand the Sami's genetic past, we first need to explore who they are today. The Sami people are the indigenous inhabitants of the Arctic regions of Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia's Kola Peninsula. Despite being surrounded by Nordic cultures for centuries, they have maintained a distinct identity, language, and way of life. One of the most iconic aspects of Sami culture is reindeer herding. Unlike the agricultural societies that developed further south, the Sami have traditionally been nomadic, following reindeer across vast tundras. This isn't just a way of life, it's part of their cultural identity, passed down for generations. But what truly sets the Sami apart is their language. The Sami languages belong to the Uralic language family, which means they are more closely related to Finnish, Estonian, and even some Siberian languages than to Swedish or Norwegian. This linguistic connection has always been a mystery. If the Sami had lived in Scandinavia for tens of thousands of years, why wasn't their language related to the Germanic or Indo-European tongues spoken by their neighbors? Physically, the Sami also have unique genetic traits. For example, they have a higher rate of lactose intolerance, unlike many of their Nordic neighbors who adapted to digest milk. They also have distinctive facial features and some genetic markers that are rare in other European populations but common in Siberian and Central Asian groups. For centuries, the Sami faced intense discrimination. In the 19th and 20th centuries, Nordic governments tried to force them to abandon their language, culture, and even their traditional clothing. Yet, despite these challenges, the Sami have preserved their identity. But the big question remains, if they've lived in Scandinavia for so long, why do they have genetic ties to Siberia? The answer lies deep in their DNA, revealing a migration story that rewrites European history. Before modern genetics, historians and archaeologists tried to piece together the Sami's past using ancient artifacts, linguistics, and historical records. The most widely accepted theory was that the Sami were the descendants of Scandinavia's first inhabitants, hunter-gatherers who arrived over 10,000 years ago after the Ice Age ended. This idea made sense. Ancient tools and carvings found in northern Norway and Finland resembled those used by the Sami's ancestors. The traditional way of life, hunting, fishing, and reindeer herding, seemed like a direct continuation of prehistoric Arctic cultures. Many researchers assumed that the Sami had simply lived in isolation for thousands of years, preserving an ancient way of life unchanged by the outside world. But there were problems with this theory. 
First, the Sami language didn't fit the pattern. If they were direct descendants of Europe's first hunter-gatherers, why did they speak a Uralic language, one that shared similarities with languages spoken thousands of kilometers away in Siberia? Another issue was genetic studies from ancient European remains. While some of the Sami's DNA matched early European hunter-gatherers, a large portion of their genetic material didn't match any other Scandinavian population. Instead, it seemed to connect them to people who lived far to the east, beyond the Ural Mountains. For years, these contradictions puzzled researchers. The idea that the Sami were purely European didn't fully explain their unique traits. Something was missing. And with the rise of DNA analysis, scientists finally had the tools to uncover the truth. Recent advances in genetic research have completely changed what we thought we knew about the Sami's origins. When scientists mapped the Sami genome, they found something astonishing. A significant portion of their DNA comes from ancient Siberia. This discovery means the Sami are not solely descended from Scandinavia's early inhabitants. Instead, their ancestors migrated from the east, bringing with them genes, culture, and language that originated in Siberia and the Ural Mountains. One of the most shocking revelations was that the Sami shared genetic markers with ancient populations from the Yamal Peninsula and western Siberia, groups that lived thousands of kilometers away from Scandinavia. These early Siberian nomads had a direct influence on the genetic makeup of today's Sami people. But how did these Siberian ancestors reach northern Europe? Scientists believe that around 5,000 to 7,000 years ago, waves of migrants from the Ural region moved westward, eventually mixing with local European hunter-gatherers. These ancient Uralic-speaking peoples brought their language and customs with them, which explains why the Sami language is so different from the Germanic languages spoken by their Scandinavian neighbors. Even more fascinating, the Sami have unique genetic adaptations that help them survive in the Arctic. One study found that they have genetic traits linked to cold resistance, as well as metabolic adaptations that allow them to thrive on a diet rich in fish and reindeer meat, foods that are high in omega-3 fatty acids. This new genetic research rewrites the history of human migration in Europe. It shows that the Arctic was shaped by complex movements of people, not just one isolated group. The Sami's ancestors traveled thousands of miles, mixing with different cultures along the way. So, what does this mean for the Sami today? It confirms that they are one of the most ancient and unique indigenous groups in Europe, a living link to a migration story that spans from the frozen tundras of Siberia to the Nordic fjords. The Sami people's genetic story is not one of isolation, but of incredible migration and adaptation. Modern DNA research shows that their ancestry is a blend of multiple populations over thousands of years. But how did these different groups come together? The earliest known inhabitants of Scandinavia were hunter-gatherers who arrived after the Ice Age, around 10,000 years ago. These early Europeans were genetically similar to other Stone Age populations across the continent. However, around 5,000 to 7,000 years ago, something changed. New groups began arriving from the east, specifically from the Ural Mountains and western Siberia. These newcomers weren't just any migrants. They were part of an ancient wave of Uralic-speaking peoples, bringing with them new genes, new technologies, and a completely different language family. They mixed with the local hunter-gatherers and created the genetic foundation of what would later become the Sami people. But this wasn't the only major wave of migration. Another key influence came from the Amnea culture, a group of nomads from the Eurasian steppe. Their impact was felt across Europe, but the Sami absorbed less of their DNA compared to other European populations. This explains why the Sami have remained genetically distinct from their Scandinavian neighbors. One of the most fascinating aspects of this migration is how it shaped the Sami's unique adaptations to Arctic life. Unlike other Europeans, the Sami developed metabolic traits suited for surviving in extreme cold. For example, their bodies process fat differently, allowing them to thrive on a diet high in fish and reindeer meat. This adaptation was crucial for survival in an environment where farming was impossible. Another surprising discovery is that the Sami have genetic resistance to cold temperatures similar to other Arctic populations like the Inuit. 
This suggests that some of their ancestors might have evolved in subarctic climates long before settling in Scandinavia. These migrations and genetic adaptations explain why the Sami are so different from their Nordic neighbors. They are not simply an isolated European group, but a blend of ancient Arctic, Siberian, and European peoples, a living testament to the complex history of human movement across continents. The Sami are not just culturally unique, their DNA also sets them apart from other European populations. Scientists have identified several distinct genetic traits that make the Sami different from their Scandinavian and Finnish neighbors. One of the most striking findings is their metabolic adaptation to a high-fat diet. For thousands of years, the Sami primarily lived on reindeer meat, fish, and berries, foods rich in protein and omega-3 fatty acids, but low in carbohydrates. Unlike many other populations, their bodies are genetically optimized to process animal fats efficiently, helping them maintain energy in freezing conditions. Another key adaptation is their cold resistance. Research shows that the Sami, like other Arctic indigenous groups, have genetic traits that help them maintain body heat in extreme temperatures. These adaptations likely evolved from their Siberian ancestors, who lived in some of the coldest regions on Earth. One particularly unusual trait is their high rate of lactose intolerance. While most Northern Europeans developed the ability to digest milk due to the spread of dairy farming, the Sami did not. Since their traditional diet relied on reindeer herding rather than cattle, they never needed to evolve lactose tolerance the way other Europeans did. Today, a significant percentage of Sami people are lactose intolerant, making them genetically distinct from their Scandinavian neighbors. The Sami also have a unique immune system profile. Studies have found that certain immune-related genes are more common in the Sami than in other European populations. This may be the result of their ancestors adapting to Arctic diseases and environmental conditions over thousands of years. Another interesting aspect of Sami genetics is their low levels of genetic mixing with other European populations. Despite living alongside Swedes, Norwegians, and Finns for centuries, the Sami have remained genetically distinct. This is partly due to their historically nomadic lifestyle, which kept them separate from surrounding populations. However, this genetic uniqueness also has a downside. Some studies suggest that the Sami have a higher risk of certain genetic disorders, including rare metabolic conditions. This is likely due to the founder effect, where a small, isolated population passes down rare genetic traits over generations. These genetic discoveries highlight just how special and resilient the Sami people are. Their DNA tells a story of survival, adaptation, and endurance in one of the harshest climates on Earth. The revelation that the Sami have deep Siberian and Uralic roots doesn't just change our understanding of genetics, it also reshapes our view of European history and indigenous identity. For centuries, the Sami were treated as outsiders in Scandinavia. Governments tried to assimilate them, suppress their language, and erase their culture. But these new genetic findings confirm that the Sami are not just another Scandinavian group. They are one of Europe's oldest surviving indigenous peoples, with a heritage that predates the formation of modern nation-states. This has major implications for how the Sami are recognized today. In Norway, Sweden, and Finland, the Sami have gained official indigenous status, which grants them certain legal rights and protections. However, in Russia, their status remains more complicated. Understanding their true origins strengthens their case for greater recognition and protection of their traditional lands. Another important takeaway is how this research challenges old ideas about European history. For centuries, many people assumed that Europe's populations were relatively static, with little migration or outside influence. But the Sami's genetic story proves that the Arctic was a crossroads of ancient migrations, where different cultures and peoples mixed long before written history. These findings also highlight the importance of preserving Sami culture. As modern development and climate change threaten the traditional way of life, recognizing their ancient heritage is crucial. The Sami are not just a relic of the past, they are a living link to a world that existed thousands of years ago. The genetic origins of the Sami people have been a mystery for centuries. Now, thanks to modern DNA research, we finally have answers. 
The Sami are not simply an isolated European group, but a unique blend of ancient Siberian, Uralic, and European hunter-gatherer ancestry. Their ancestors traveled thousands of miles, mixing with different populations before finally settling in the Arctic. These discoveries don't just change our understanding of the Sami, they rewrite the history of human migration in Europe. They revealed that the Arctic wasn't just a remote, empty land, but a region shaped by waves of migration and adaptation. But the story isn't over. Scientists are still uncovering new details about the Sami's genetic past. Future research may reveal even more about their connections to ancient Arctic cultures and how they adapted to extreme environments. For the Sami, this research is more than just science, it's a confirmation of their identity. It proves that they are one of Europe's most ancient and unique peoples, with a history that deserves to be recognized and celebrated. So, the next time you think about the frozen landscapes of Scandinavia, remember that hidden beneath the ice is one of the most fascinating human stories ever told, a story of resilience, migration, and survival against all odds. And the Sami people? They are living proof that history is far more complex and far more incredible than we ever imagined.